Friends, it is time to take back America. Oh, this hurts. Hello, welcome back to the Spanless Gamer, where I'm playing every Super Nintendo game in order of release, and I got four games today. I have Urban Strike, uh, I have Lord of Darkness, David Crane's Amazing Tennis, and Qbert 3. And our first game today is Urban Strike, and the box art looks like this. We got kind of a stealth uh, helicopter thing, and he's shooting at the Nintendo Seal of Quality. That is a political statement from Black Pearl. Uh... Home field advantage. First, the desert madman. Then the ju jungle drug lord. Now a new evil challenges the strike core. Registered trademark. Right here in America. Ruthless, media mogul, and powerful maverick H.R. Malone secretly plans to destabilize the U.S. government using social media and lies. Crush the rebellion at all costs. Over 40 missions, blah, blah, blah. Lots of stuff there. All right. Let's play this game. Strike! USA, in the future, 2001. Friends, it is time to take back America. Oh, this hurts. With our volunteer angel patrols, we'll rid the streets of criminal scum. We'll build a wall. Together, we will challenge our energies into showing our so-called leaders how America ought to be run. Malone, 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 make America great, Malone. Great show, Mr. Malone. You sent for me? I don't know who you are, but I apparently look like Patrick Bateman. We're running into some static at our Hawaii station, and I want you to check it out. What seems to be the problem, sir? The United Special Forces team had discovered our bigly pan. I suspect someone in our organization is broadcasting information to the Strike C-O-R-E trademark. What do you need me to do? I want you to fly to Hawaii and oversee the operation. We must deal with the strike force or our plans for super weapon may fail. I'll handle it. I know how do these guys operate. The... So I've learned. So I've learned my son will drive you to the airport in my private limousine. Enjoy your flight. Ivory Tower, Ivory Tower, come in, Ivory Tower, this is Agent Ego. I have right door, Ego. I've infiltrated Malone's lair, but I think he's on to me. Probably because you're wearing a cartoon coat. He's building a deadly super weapon, and it's the first component is in Hawaii. I've seen blueprints, and this thing could take out a whole skyscraper. Powered by a huge airplane that they'll fly into the skies. Oh, I've got to go. I'll tell you the rest from the limo. Ego out. <gasps> His car explodes. There's a new lead story at tonight's news. Crime bosses assassinate son of crusading media leader. <laughs> Real story is, switch channels on Malone and you'll get cancelled. Oh, look at cancel culture. Egotistical guy trying to subvert America. Skyscrapers being destroyed. This game was made in 1994. Commander, it looks like your vacation's been cut short. I knew I shouldn't have brought this for Oh, hello. Our friend H.R. Malone is up to his old tricks again. So what's his plan? Lucky for you, disturbance is right there in Hawaii. Meet at our mobile command post on Oahu in 30 minutes. Aloha. Fruit drinks away. I will not make any reference to the recent events in Hawaii. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah, that looks, looks, looks all good to me. Oh, more story. Welcome back, Commander. Our target hit is H.R. Malone. Not only is Malone one of the richest men in the world, but he's recruited 
millions of fanatic followers since he lost that presidential election a few years ago. Oh, God. Yeah, the dude could sell invisible ink to a counterfeiter. He's been buying up choice real estate, and he's a real estate guy, too. And he's, oh, God. For all his paramilitary organization, and he's hired renegade weapons experts and former generals who became mercenaries in the wake of military cutbacks. Did he send in someone to get his plans? Yes, Agent Ego, but he won't be coming back. That makes it personal. Ego was my buddy. We flew together in the jungle campaigns. I was just close to retirement. Malone repenetrated his cover and shut him up with a car bomb. Not before we had Ego uncovered Malone's plan to build some sort of super weapon. Malone has an attack squad right here in Hawaii, implementing Phase 1. That's where you come in. I was wondering why you paid me the big bucks. I needed to investigate his attacks for a... God. Sounds like he's got a personal hydrant problem. I also think he's got a real HR Malone. We've got a tip from a plastic surgeon. I can tell if the true identity of our madman. The surgeon fears for his life and is hiding on the Elands. Locate the surgeon and he'll know who this evil genius is. Great, another evil genius. Why can't I ever fight an evil idiot? Well, just wait till the future. We've got our new Mohican attack chopper. Download the mission to your wrist communicator. Man, get my wrist communicator right here. This, this game is just too much. That's me and my chopper. That's me not knowing how to take off. Oh, 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 don't go backwards. Yay, mission over. How do I fly this crazy thing? Okay. Seem to be moving along here. I don't know what I'm doing. Where I'm supposed to be going. That guy seems like a jerk. Yeah, well, it blew up your hut. Well, that guy didn't bother me, so why should he bother I bother him? Oh, I just took the highway to the danger zone. Oh, it's a boat. Yeah, suck it, boat. Come out of my missiles. Oh, no. Dump. How do I go down? Ah, he just does it automatically. Yes. More of that. Now feel the wrath of my mighty missiles. I'll just shoot kind of vaguely near you and things will be okay. Another one of you. Okay. And it just goes on like this, huh? Okay. Graphics. We're gonna give those a six and a half. Sound. We give that a five. Music. Really not much of anything going on there. One and a half. I think there was some music at the beginning. Story. We'll give that a, a, a nine because they predicted the future. Uh, controls. A four. Funness, a four. It doesn't hold my attention. A three and a half, and overall it's going to get a five. That was Urban Strike. Let's see what's next. Our next game is Lord of Darkness, and the box art looks like this. Introducing a new kind of troublemaker, Lord of Darkness! Yeah, the crowd goes wild for the Lord of Darkness. 
Uh, Lure Nubunaga is out to take control of Japan and along the way plans of making lots of trouble for those around. As a young Daimo with your own ambitions, here's your chance to plot strategies that will get you past... Oh, this is one of those historical simulation games by Koei. Uh, uh, okay. I was expecting Lords of Darkness to be an action platformer from its historical simulation series. Ah! Hiya, kids! I'm... miffed at you? I am complacent. Lord of Darkness, everyone. The Leafy Mass Game. Hello. Men struggle their whole life, but in the end it comes to naught. Like yesterday's dream, it just fades away. Once born into this world, is there nothing that lasts? Other than the Lord of Darkness! Hey. Nabunaga's ambition is nowhere on this cover, the box. You wouldn't have known it was a sequel. Oh, new game, why not? Oh, sure, that one. In which play mode? Multiplay! One. Let's go with the green people. Yes. Would you like to see battles of other states? No. Is everything according to your wishes? Yes. Lord, date your orders. Battles! Oh, let's attack these polka dotty guys. Who will have a chance at battle? This person, and that person, and that person. Yes. And I accidentally hit the back button, didn't I? Nope. Okay. Which unit? Oh, I only brought one of those. Horsey men. Eleven horsey men. And he's gonna bring some... Oh, some guns. There we go. Proceed. Yes. Do the thing. One hundred day supply. Yes, invade. Do the thing! Did I win? Is that it? No, they're fine. Lord, where should we set the main camp? Oh, I'd say there. There. Horses. Things are exciting now. I just want to see one fight. is coming. Alright. Well, I'm obviously good at that game. 
graphics uh, for what it is they're okay five sound uh, sure four music we'll give that a six story uh yeah sure seems like a game with a story controls man don't like using the controller for those kind of games or those kind of games funness for me it's a three uh it doesn't hold my attention a two and overall it's going to get a four that was lord of darkness let's see what's next our next game is david crane's amazing tennis Ooh, it's amazingly good to the nintendo power money saving foot locker coupon inside Ooh, i want that Trade in your racket for a game controller. The category of sports home video game has just taken a quantum leap forward. Thanks to Sam Beckett and David Crane's amazing tennis. Developed by David Crane, an industry pioneer and one of the best-selling game designers of all time, amazing tennis redefines the term state-of-the-art. Every aspect of play has been recreated to ensure precision, feel, and accuracy. Other tennis games just can't match. Amazing Tennis utilizes 22 different plans of depth and motion, picture quality animation. Do provide a revolutionary gaming experience. The next best thing to bring it out on the court yourself. Absolute has created the most realistic version of tennis to date. Special coupon inside worth $5 off any purchase at any Foot Locker store. Holy crap! Alright. So, David Crane formed Activision, then left, and became part of Absolute. Did he make a bajillion dollars off Amazon later? Because they got pretty big. Yep. One player, hard, right, head to head opponent, yes. Can I change the opponent? Bobo, John, Igmar, Rahid, Tashi, Christian, Hansen, Nick, Aaron, Kayayanta, I don't know, Arthur, Angie, Richard, Stan, Jock, Bobo again, John. Oh, let's go back. Let's be let's be John from Florida. Oh, let's go with Florida man. Ooh, do, 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 do. Who shall I be? It's Ask John, everybody. Ask John. Foot Locker. Hmm. I wonder who sponsored this video again. We little, little low, low, late there on the, the swing, Skipper. Okay. Third time's a charm. No, you're at fault. Double fall. Jesus. Love 15. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hui. I meant to do that. Love 13. I love 13 too. Love 14. Matt. Good. Game. Your game. Game Jam. That's a slow motion replay if I've ever seen Game one. Ball. Those motion picture quality animations. Oh, that's the pause button. That's not the skip button. Look at all the white people in the crowd. Come on, come on. Yay! Oh. 15 love. Can I score a point? Answer is no. Graphics. Uh, I'll give the graphics a six. Sound, a four and a half. Music, a three. Story, zero. Controls, uh, a three and a half. Just felt kind of slow. Funness, a one and a half. Does it hold my attention? Nope, and it's going to get a three. That was David Crane's quote-unquote amazing tennis. Let's see what's next. Our final game today is Cubert 3. Look at that little cute guy who swears all the time. You got a frog, you got that little fl green flamey dude, and, and a pig monster, and a snake guy. 
Qbert is back, just when you thought it was safe to go hopping around on a pyramid. Qbert 3 takes the classic Qbert arcade game theme to new heights. With an amazing variety of eye-popping multi-screen worlds, you control Qbert after he tries to clear as he tries to clear screen after screen while being chased by a wild bunch of crafty characters. You'll encounter the old familiar cast along with a whole universe of new enemies, obstacles, and items. And in Qbert 3, Qbert's classic pyramid is only one of over 100 difficulty, differently shaped playfields. You'll find level after level of new and unique challenges. Qbert 3, buy it today. <laughs> Music and an American flag for some reason. God, I always suck at the fucking controls. Cuber controls always get me. I don't know why I suck. I mean, it's because I suck. Jumping on the other thing. I suck a cuber. Now I'm tripping my balls off. Rate it. Graphics. Yeah, they're okay. We'll give them five and a half. Sound was cute. Six and a half there. Music was fine. Five and a half. Story. There really is no story in Cubert. Controls. I mean, if you're good at Cubert controls, sure. I'm not so far. Four and a half. Funness. Five and a half. Does hold my attention. Uh, a three, and overall we're going to give it a five and a half. If you really like Hubert, that's probably a fun game for you. Anyway, thanks for watching. We'll see you next game.